Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm really excited to film this video because I am finally unboxing the Charlotte Tilbury mystery box that I picked up during the Black Friday sales. This has been sitting in my beauty room for two days now and I've been just trying so hard not to rip it open and see what items I got in here because since it's a mystery box, I don't know what's in here. And they did come out with three mystery boxes for Black Friday. I don't know if they're available anymore, but I imagine that they'll come back at some point. In each of the boxes, they do tell you what two of the products will be. They give you like a little reveal of two of the eight items. And so I did get to see what two products would be available in each box and from the price point and also the two products that I was most excited to try, I decided to go with the one that was in the middle of the price range. So this box has eight full-sized Charlotte Tilbury products in it and it was, I think, regularly priced at $297, but I was able to get it for half off, so I only paid $145. And the fact that these products will round out to about $18 a piece when a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products are anywhere from 30 plus to 60 plus dollars. I think that's a fantastic deal. So without further ado, let's get started. It did come in a really beautiful box. If you can see, it has like a metallic opening right here and then it opens up like this. I don't know what I'll store in here. Maybe I'll store perfumes or jewelry or something, but it is a really beautiful box that I will be repurposing for something. Of course, it has the Charlotte Tilbury logo and the packaging of it matches a lot of the um, makeup products that are packaged like this. And then whenever you open it, there are a couple samples on the top. And then underneath that, you have some beautiful tissue paper with a sticker that matches the Charlotte Tilbury logo. The two samples are a mascara. It's the Legendary Lashes Volume 2 Mascara. And then you get a Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Glow Primer. So that's nice. A couple little free samples that they throw in there. Now let's get into the bulk of the product. I'm going to just kind of grab one at a time instead of unveiling it to myself all at once. So I'll just start from this side and move my way over. And the first product is a Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand. This is their High Blush and it's in the shade Peach Gasm. So this is one of the two products that I knew I was getting. I figure I'll use this as a cream blush because it is too dark to use as a straight up highlighter, but I do really like cream blushes and I have used up a number of them over the course of the year, so. Do I just squeeze it? Oh, I see. Okay, that's smart actually. So you twist it and then it opens up and you can push stuff out. And then whenever you want to close it, you can just twist it again and it'll close it. That's nice. So it doesn't like make a huge mess. That's actually a beautiful color. It reminds me a lot of Luminoso by Milani. It's got kind of like that peachy orangey color. That's really pretty. That'll make a beautiful cream blush. Yeah, it looks pretty much exactly like a cream version of that Luminoso blush by Milani, which is one of my favorites. Okay, now let's move over to the next one, and that is a Collagen Lip Bath, and it's in the shade Pillow Talk. It's a really beautiful color. Okay, yeah, it is a kind of a glossy type of product, and it is kind of sticky. It's not like an oil or anything. It smells kind of minty, and if you can see, the applicator is shaped like a little heart. That's cute. It doesn't deposit too much color, um, but it does have like a little bit of a pinky undertone, but it's not very opaque. Moving on to the next one, we have another lip product. It's their Lip Luster Lip Lacquer. If you can see, this one's kind of sparkly, and this is in the shade Ibiza Nights and it just has a regular doe foot applicator. This one is also pretty thick. If you can see, it doesn't really have a lot of color to it, but it does have some glitter, but it doesn't feel gritty. I can't really feel any glitter particles on it. And then as I kind of blend it a little bit so that it's a really thin layer, it doesn't look like a ton of glitter. So that's nice. It's not like chunky glitter all over your lips, just enough to add a shine. I don't really own a lot of lip glosses. I actually only own one and it's from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And every time I do use it, I like it, but it's very, very pigmented and it's very orangey peach. So it's nice to have some more neutral options that I can pair with more things. Now for the next one, we have a classic eye powder pencil. And this is in the shade Classic Brown. This is what it looks like. And it just looks like a regular sharpenable pencil. Oh, that's very creamy. 
a lot creamier than I was expecting for a straight up pencil. Definitely a cool tone brown, almost, almost a black. I think that's beautiful, very rich. Something I could definitely get a lot of use out of. For the next product, this is a eyeshadow palette. This is the other one that I knew I was getting. And I do love pinky mauve eyeshadows, so I knew this was right up my alley. So this is what it looks like on the outside. And then this is what it looks like on the inside. These are what the four shades look like. And if you look at that third shade, that's more of a topper, but that still packs quite a bit of pigmentation. It's not like just a bunch of glitter loosely pressed into a pan. That's beautiful. Definitely something I could see myself getting a lot of use out of. And full price, these are $53. So I'm saving $35 just on this palette quad alone. The next product is another smaller one, and this is also a luxury palette. I wish you could see the shade a little bit better on the outside packaging, that can get kind of confusing. But this one is in the Queen of Glow. Ooh, that's pretty. That's what those four shades look like. It looks like there's more, there's only one matte, two shimmers, and then another one of those topper shades. That's really pretty. Let's compare it to the Pillow Talk one. They have the same packaging on the outside. Uh, definitely the Pillow Talk one is a little bit lighter and it has a little bit more of like a pinky undertone versus the Queen of Glow is a little bit more like warm coppery. That's pretty. I don't know that I necessarily needed both, to be honest. <laughs> but I will say the shades are incredibly pigmented. I guess a lot more pigmented than I assumed Charlotte Tilbury would be. Now let's move on to the next product. We only have a couple left. This is a blusher, oh my gosh. And the box is kind of falling apart. <laughs> this is one of their Cheek to Cheek Swish and Pop blushers, and this is in the shade Ecstasy which is beautiful and definitely a more wearable shade than the other Charlotte Tilbury blush that I had in the past. That was in the shade Love is the Drug. And I did recently declutter that shade just because it's a little bit too bright and purple on my skin tone. And so I wasn't really reaching for it as much as I used to back in the day. So this is a really great replacement because I do love the formula, um, but the shade is just much more everyday for me. The problem with this is if someone with a deeper skin tone were to get this blush, I don't know if they'd be able to use it as such. So that's what the color looks like. I did have to build it up quite a bit. So the fact that someone with my skin tone would need to build this up for it to show up means that someone with a deeper skin tone really wouldn't get much use out of this at all. All right, and I think there's only one product left in here. And that is a Revolution Matte Lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk. But this is the medium version, so I believe it's deeper than the original Pillow Talk lipstick that I'm actually in the process of finishing up. It's in the same gorgeous rose gold packaging that the other lipsticks are in. And yeah, this is just subtly deeper than the other Pillow Talk lipstick that I own. I will do a swatch comparison really quick. All right, so this is the original Pillow Talk that I own, and then this is the new one, the medium version. If you can see, very, very similar. Only the medium one, obviously, is a little bit deeper. I really like that they decided to put the medium one in the box instead of the original one because it'll be a nude shade if you are much deeper, but if you're someone like me, it'll just be a deeper nude color. I already know that I love the Matte Revolution formula and I do love these lipsticks and the packaging, so that's a really nice addition. That was everything that was in the box. Kind of sad that it's over. It was really exciting getting to go through and see what was gonna come next. Okay, let's go over these really quickly. I did get two eyeshadow quads, the Queen of Glow and the Luxury Pillow Talk version. These are both $53 a piece. I got a blush in the shade Ecstasy. This is $40 a piece. I got a Peach Gasm Beauty Light Wand that I would use as a cream blush. This is $38 full price. I got three lip products, a lip bath, a lip luster, and a lipstick. The lip bath is $35, the lip luster is $22, and the Pillow Talk lipstick is $34. And then lastly, I got a eyeliner pencil in the shade Classic Brown. This is $22 full price. So yes, the total value of all of these products, if you were to buy them all at full price, is $297. Instead, I paid $145, meaning I got all of this for $153 off which is not bad at all. These are all products I can see myself using and really enjoying. I do like that there is relatively enough variety in the box. You get a blush, 
um, a cream cheek product, some eyeshadow, an eyeliner, some lip products. You do get to kind of play around with all the different categories for the most part. I like that there was no skincare in here. It was all makeup. That's what I would have preferred. And I think for the most part, all of these products would work for different skin tones with the exception of the blush. I was very surprised that they put such a light color in the blush. All in all, I think Charlotte Tilbury has gotten a lot better about having better products like that in their mystery boxes that don't just cater to people with lighter skin tones. I like that they didn't overdo it in one category. There were more lip products than anything else, but they kind of kept it at least relatively spread apart. And Charlotte Tilbury does have some gift sets or value sets that you can buy where you choose the shades or, you know, the type of skin tone that you have so you can get things that work for you. So I think that is a step in the right direction. But in general, when it comes to inclusivity, I think Charlotte Tilbury has a long way to go. I think the majority of makeup brands out there have a long way to go. I would like to do a full face of Charlotte Tilbury video very soon now that I have all these new products to play with. In my collection already, I do have a highlighter and a bronzer. I do have this mascara now that I have this little sample. I have the lip liner and I think that's it. I did recently use up the face powder that I had from Charlotte Tilbury. So stay tuned for that. That'll probably come relatively soon. I am doing a video every day leading up to Christmas, so it'll probably be sometime this week. Do you know of any other brands like this who do really exciting mystery boxes. I would love to try some others out from brands that I don't have a lot from. But in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.